Welcome back, cordial friends. Now, I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. Wait, wait. I know exactly what you're thinking. We only got five decks left, but I've run the numbers. I have, I'm a lot of coffee, but I still believe that we can pull a gigantic creature. I still believe it, all right? We're on deck seven of 12, and I believe that, you know, lucky number seven here, we have a good shot at pulling a gigantic creature here, all right? Let's crack it open and see what we get. All right, today we got, we got Saurian, a Star Alliance, and a Sanctum. We got Ambassador Latif Quicklin. And it's just a big old face with a big old nose. It's just a big old head. He's got like a collar, or she's got a collar. Interesting. It's got like a maybe like a mustache. Then maybe that's his mustache. And uh he's got some hair. It's very cool looking. Alright. I haven't seen an Archon that's like one big head before. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's see what we got. You can get a gigantic creature in this one. It's got Saurian. Let's hope. Dropping down the Archon card. We've got Star Alliance to start with. We've got Umbra Alien, a three power creature with elusive. Fight, look at the top three cards of your deck, put one in your hand and one on the bottom of your deck. Add some efficiency, great card, great card to have. Look at that, we got Z-Wave Emitter. At the start of your turn, reward this creature. It's got an Amber Pip, two Capture Pips on it. That's crazy, good good upgrade, Z-Wave Emitter. I think he come, this, this card comes with this, a particular card that I've been wanting to play for a while, so that's exciting. We've got the Z-Ray Blaster, an upgrade with an Amber Pip. This creature gets plus three power and gains before fight, deal three damage to each neighbor of the creature this creature fights. Okay, yeah, we, I think we definitely have that, uh, that cool creature, all right? That's, that's really exciting. This guy gets loaded. So we've got the Z-Particle Tracker, an upgrade with an Amber Pip. This creature gains fight. Search your deck for an upgrade and put it into your hand. Shuffle your deck. Okay, so I, I'm telling you, if we get if we get a Transporter Platform uh, artifact in this deck, we can really pop off. This could be incredible, all right? I'm very excited for this. Let's see. All right, here he is. The Z-Force Agent 14. Look how awesome he looks. Five power creature with fight, gain one amber for each upgrade on Z-Force Agent 14. And we've got three. So we put those three on him and then we, uh, we, we can fight with him. He gets three amber at least if we, if we have that, uh, uh, that combo all together. That's kind of incredible. This guy is awesome. Awesome, awesome stuff. We got the Mutagenesis Researcher, a three power creature that just enhanced a bunch of stuff. We got two of her and this one's got a capture pib. We've got Subdue. It's got two Amber Pips in a Capture Pip. My gosh. Play, deal one damage to a creature and stun it. All right, good good creature mitigation. Like to see that. Scout Pete, a four power creature with play, fight, reap. Look at the top card of your deck and you may discard that card. Add some more efficiency to the deck. Love to see it. We got two Scout Pete's. Very cool. Observing Max, another upgrade we could add to our big guy there. That's great. Uh, it it uh, has an Amber Pip and a Damage Pip. This creature gains Fight Reap, Capture One Amber. We could have that huge guy capture one on top of everything else. Very cool. Crew Men Jorg, she's got a bonus Draw Pip. Very neat. Uh, it's it's uh, enhanced to Capture Pip and, and uh, action. If Crew Men Jorg has no Star Alliance neighbors, she steals an Amber. Got some steel in the Star Alliance too. Moving on to Saurians. Oh, I don't know if we'll be able to see the uh, gigantic creature since it's not the first one. But we've got Xenosaurus, a five power creature with play. You may exalt Xenosaurus. If you do, deal three damage to a creature. Fight, look at the top three cards of your deck. Put one in your hand, one on the bottom of your, and one on the bottom of your deck. That's another card that adds to efficiency. We've got some good efficiency in this deck. Very cool. We got the rare Optiogorcus. A uh, creature with an, uh, an enhanced uh, damage pip, three power, three armor. He's elusive, and each of his each of his neighbors gains destroyed. Move each amber on this creature to a neighboring Optiogorcus. So we might we must have multiples of this guy. That's pretty cool. We can kind of push amber off onto other ones. Very cool. Uh, or actually, no, no, we, we we just have the one, but the other creatures can push amber off onto him. Okay, that's that's pretty cool. Siren Horn, another upgrade. Amber Pip and a Capture Pip. This creature gains before fight. Move one Amber from this creature to the creature it fights. Very cool. All right. I like I like the number of upgrades we have so far a lot. Saurian Egg, creature with an Amber Pip. Uh, cannot fight or reap. Omni, discard the top two cards of your deck. If you discard any Saurian creatures this way, put them into play ready. Give them three plus one power counters and destroy Saurian Egg. I think we've seen a couple at least uh, Saurian creatures so far, so that's pretty good. That could be really, really good in this deck. Got Exile, an action, an action card with an Amber Pip. Play, give control of a friendly creature to your opponent. We need to get one of those Opiogorcuses, that, that Opiogorcus guy, get him loaded up with Amber, and then send him away. I think that'd be really cool. City State Interest is a great card. Each friendly creature captures one Amber. Sagittarius Gaze, an action card with an Amber Pip. Uh, play, exalt a damaged creature. Just add some extra potential amber we can get. We got the Faust the Great, a four-power creature. Your opponent's keys cost plus one, plus one amber for each friendly creature with amber on it. And you may exalt a friendly creature when you play it. Okay, cool. We have a couple other creatures that can exalt, so that's also very exciting. Good to see. We got Cornus and Octavia. Good number of soaring creatures. Five-power, one-armor creature. And as an action, he captures two amber. We got Citizen Trix, a three-power creature. With play reap, exalt him to steal one. 
We got two of him. Fantastic. And then we got the Axiom of Grisk, too. Ward a creature. Destroy each creature with no amber on it. Gain two chains. Great to have a board wipe. Always great. Moving on to Sanctum, we have Umbra Knight, a four power, two armor creature that's elusive. Good extra body on the board. Another upgrade. Every, every house has got an upgrade. That's pretty cool. This creature gains. You may use this creature as if it belonged to the active house. Oh my gosh. Putting that on that, that uh, Star Alliance guy, that would be insane. He could be used every single turn, and he gets like at least two to three amber every single turn. That's insane. That could be really good. We got Scrivener Favni, and she's back, and she's got an enhanced drop hip, three power, and uh, whenever you resolve a, a capture bonus icon, you may choose to steal one instead. We had a couple cards that had the uh, couple uh, two amber on it and, and an extra um, capture pip. Oh my gosh, that, that could be really good in this deck too. Radiant Truth, action card with an amber pip, play, stun each enemy creature not on a flank. Cool. Good creature control. Free markets and uh, action card with an amber pip. Gain one amber to a maximum of six for each house represented among cards in play except for Sanctum. So we could totally get five amber out of this. It's one to five amber. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, good good angry, uh, good card. And speaking of angry, we have Angry Mob, which is a great card for efficiency. Four power. Before fight, you may discard cards in the top of your deck until you discard an Angry Mob or run out of cards. If you discard an Angry Mob this way, put it into your hand. Great card to just like mill out your deck if you, if you ever want, run out of cards in your deck that you want to get. So we have one. This one's got an amber uh, damage pip and we have third one and that's we have three of them total okay squire alice a two power two armor creature with play capture two amber good quick capture great to, great to see lieutenant gorvanal a four power one armor creature after you fight with a creature he captures one amber and we have a, we have a lot of good things to fight with great stuff we got font of the eye an artifact with, with omni if an enemy creature was destroyed this turn a friendly creature ca creature captures one amber great 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 stuff and final card is a cleansing wave. Heal one damage from each creature. Gain one amber for each creature healed this way. We fight a lot, so that's going to be great too. This deck has something really interesting in every house, so I can't wait to do the counts. Let me split the cards up, and I'll be right back. All right, we're back with the counts. Let's see how many creatures we have. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 creatures in this deck. That's a good amount of creatures. And I like that we have like seven soaring creatures in this. Get a good use of that soaring egg for sure. Let's see how much amber we have in this deck. Looking at our amber cards, I'm going to count these first three as amber since these guys steal and this guy has one. So that's three amber off the bat. Looking at these cards, we got 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and then this one could be at least one, so that's 15 amber. 15 amber on the cards and 21 creatures. I think that's like the best combination we've seen so far of creatures and amber. That's really, really good. All right, looking at uh, amber control. We got amber control now. So these guys steal, so that's one, two, any cards that steal or mitigate amber or capture, right? So two so far. Um, all right, so that's, uh, three, four, five, uh, he doesn't really do it himself, six, seven, eight, well, we'll just count it seven, it's one, eight, uh, nine makes a creature capture one. Ten. Eleven. <laughs> Twelve. Twelve cards that capture. Twelve, Twelve cards that mitigate amber from our opponent. Uh, 21 creatures, 15 amber. These are some really, really good numbers. Let's look at creature control. Things that damage or destroy creatures. Uh, this one is one, two... Uh, let's see now. I'm trying to be careful here to make sure I cut everything. Three. Four. Five. Did I miss anything? Just being sure. Five. Okay. Six. Oh, actually, wait. Yes. No, wait, uh, that's five still. Sorry. Six. Seven. Seven. Seven creature controllers. Okay, so that, that's a little low. We have a lot of things we can fight with, which is really, really good. Let's look at uh, efficiency. Things that let us draw off turn or let us use creatures off turn. Um, all right, let's see here. We've got... For that, we've got one, two. Do we have any draw pips here? I forgot to check. 
Oh, actually, this guy. Top three, so that's one. Anything else back here? No. Okay, so that's one. Two, three, four. I'll, I'll count these three as five, right? I'll count them as one because they kind of let us mill our deck a bit. So I'll count this one. So five. Uh, nah. Five so far. Six. Six efficiency. That lets us use a creature off house, right? So that's pretty good. Six efficiency. We, we we really didn't have anything that like added a bunch of efficiency, but I mean, some of those creatures can be reused, right? The scout peats can be reused. Um, potentially, if we go through our deck a few times, the guy that lets us look at the top three cards of our deck. Oh, we have two of those. Maybe maybe six or seven. But in any case, yeah, I think that's really, really good. Uh, I, I uh, we, we forgot to mention artifact control. I don't think this deck has any artifact control at all. So that's a weakness it has. Uh, otherwise, so far, it's looking great. We need recursion. Do we have anything that recurs things from the discard pile? I don't think we do. Looking at this quickly, I don't think I don't think there's anything that recurs in the discard pile. So we have a lot of efficiency to get through our deck pretty quick, so we might not really even need that, but that's not an option for us. So we're not going to be looking at our discard pile for anything. Uh, disruption, things from the hand. We might not be able to disrupt our opponent very much as far as cards in their hand. So th I, I don't really think that's the style of this deck anyway. I think it's a more fighty deck, but um, a really good one at that. Very efficient, very amber-heavy uh, fighty deck. It's really, really cool. So many pips in this deck. Very, very cool. If I had to give this an evaluation, oh my gosh. <laughs> I, I'm, 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 in the, I'm in the habit of evaluating these things pretty high, right? But uh, I, I really like this deck a lot. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. It's got some really fun gimmicks to it. And uh, it, it's got a few weaknesses. No artifact control. And uh, no way to disrupt our opponent's hand or creatures. I mean, we can disrupt their creatures. We have some creature control in this deck, but we can't really affect their hand. But um, we have really solid number of creatures, really solid amount of amber on the cards, really good amber generation in this deck. Oh, man, I really want to say, and really good amber control, too. I really want to say it's in the high 70s again. I know, I know. <laughs> some of you guys are going to think that I always guess that whenever I like a deck, but honestly, right? This deck seems really good. Uh, very exciting. So I'm going to guess, I'm going to go. I'm going to go ham. I'm going to go 78. Yeah, right. That's, that's right. This deck is almost an 80. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. It might have some glaring weakness, but honestly, I think with the great amber control in this deck and just having this number of soaring creatures, and I mean, this guy can buff up two of these. I mean, that's that's really, really cool. So much efficiency. Very cool. I'm going to guess 78. Go ahead and make your guess, and I'll see you at my desktop. All right. Welcome back to my desktop. I have uh, copied the link uh, for the deck, and like I said, I really think this deck is going to be very good. It's got... Uh, a lot of really exciting things for every house. Every house is something interesting to look at, whether it's that big creature in Star Alliance, the amount of capture in Saurians, or just the amount of like amber generation in the uh, Sanctum. So I'm just really excited. I also forgot about this Scrivener Favian uh, creature. It, it, we have so many capture pips that we could also add them to, to, to steel. We could make those into steels, uh, individual steel, amber steels. So it's like we have we had 15 amber minimum, right? Minimum on the cards. In the deck which is really exciting we could potentially get up to like a solid three keys just off playing cards if we get her out early enough we can protect her so that's really really cool um i i guessed a 78 on this deck honestly it's probably going to be uh lower than that with my track record but i really think this is a good deck i i, I mean I, I what do you what do you guys i mean am i wrong for thinking that I, I don't think so i'm really kind of excited to see what we have here uh but go ahead and make your final guesses now i'm locking in my 78 uh and let's see what we got Come on, 71, okay. So once again, I've over overestimated it, but it's in the 70s, it is in the 70s. Now look at this, we have 17 Amber Control. We have that Xenosaurus, which exalts itself, kind of giving us a little bit of negative uh, Amber Control there. Makes sense. The City State Interest is a great, great Amber Control card, and that's giving us our highest Amber Control. Makes a lot of sense. 23 Expected Amber. We're losing a little bit from the Cornice and Octavia. The Cornice and Octavia being the one that... Um, uh has us capturing two um i don't know why we're losing some potential oh because because he's probably going to be using his turns to capture every turn Quintus and octavia he uh doesn't want to ever reap so i guess they're counting that as minus because he's pretty gonna be a pretty active capturer uh, but the free markets i also forgot the free markets can get us more than one uh potentially two so we man we, we might have a minimum of 16 there with the free markets 
uh, the free markets card. So that's really exciting as well. Uh, speed 3.4, we have negative one axiom grist. I always forget to count those chains, uh, but still we were pretty close with our guess uh, on everything else. Two for that mutagenesis researcher, adding more draw pips as the scout peeps, the uh, scout peats, the xenosaurus, umber alien, uh, Z particle tracker having a draw pip, I think, and the saurian egg offering some efficiency as well. Fantastic. All right, let's look at our synergies and anti synergies. Uh, we have a decent synergy, Axiom and Grisk. We have a lot of creatures that capture Amber and a lot of things in, in Sanctum too that really support that Amber capturing uh, playstyle. So that's really, really good. Uh, we have a high synergy with the Opiogorcus, again, because we have capturing. Uh, what else do we have here? High creature count is great with city state interest, always, always very good. We have a huge, huge um, uh, synergy with the, uh, the Faust the Great. Uh, having because we have so many things that capture amber the faust the great is at 105 percent synergy very good uh siren horns at 105 percent because the siren horn um we could move one amber from this creature to the creature it fights so we'll have a lot of creatures that have amber on themselves and being able to move that amber off to potentially get it ourselves it, it's just a great combination looking down here if we have any more a little bit of anti-synergy because we have uh some enhanced creatures I suppose because uh, we have Optiogorcus and we have good play creatures. Uh, it says put them into play, right? Yeah. Yeah, so put, putting creatures into play doesn't necessarily let them use their um, play effects, does it? Their play effects or their amber pips, I guess? Or maybe. I actually don't know the ruling on that. So, that, But it's saying there's some anti-synergy with Sorian X, so we don't want to get Shrix or... Um, or Opiogorcus, because they're put into play, they're not played. That's interesting, I actually didn't know that. Uh, and then looking at Z Particle Tracker, we have upgrades, has got some 50% synergy, and then down here where you can't see, Angry Mob has some synergy, because we have one that's self-enhanced. So overall, really, really cool deck. I definitely feel like trying this one out. It's a 71. Uh, very, very cool. I love that we have really cool Angry Mobs here. We've got the Opiogorcus here, which is an interesting card. A couple Shrixes, a lot of really good cards in the Saurian, and then we've got this really, really cool Force Agent 14, Z-Force Agent 14, which we can make a great use out of because we have so many upgrades. How many upgrades do we have? Is there a count here for that? Uh, uh, six upgrades. Six upgrades. Very, very cool. Very cool. If imagine, <laughs> imagine having all six on the guy and getting a full key every time he fights. Crazy. Absolutely insane. That's, it's never going to happen. But we can at least get two, potentially, pretty consistently, since this uh, Z-Particle Tracker gets us another one. And we can either choose one of the ones that he comes with, or we can choose, you know, the um, Sagittarius Gaze to put... Uh, not Sagittarius Gaze. It's the um, Horn, right? The Siren Horn, to put an Amber that's maybe on our guy, onto the opponent. Or we can put get the uh, the other one that lets us use him off-house. Right? We have, we have the... Uh, uh, Oh yeah, Mantle of Zella right there. We can we can use him off house if we wanted to too. So we have a lot of options. We really want to get this particle tracker early on with this guy. Um if observe Vmax, a lot of really good upgrades. So overall, I'm pretty excited about this deck. It's way better than I expected to find. Uh we didn't get a uh, gigantic creature, but we still have we still have four decks left to potentially find one. So wish me luck and I appreciate you all watching. If you like this video, I appreciate a like. And if you want to see more, please subscribe. And leave a comment with what you guys guessed. Did you think it was a higher deck like I did? Or did you guess around 71 too? Let me know. Uh, have a good day. Bye-bye.